Hey, good morning and welcome to your weekend. It's Saturday, January 29th, and you know what that means. Venus is finally stationed direct. It's finally gone direct. What does that mean? I mean, to me it means that this weekend, right, the few days before the full moon, I mean the new moon that's coming up, are... It, the, these next few days are a good time to really feel what has happened to you maybe in the last month, in the last six weeks. Um, if you've been integrating new lessons or something like that, then this is the time to really solidify them and to get to know them even more deeply. So the integration maybe isn't happening externally, but, but more internally as, as a solidification. So a good weekend for some self-care and, um, you know, spent mostly in maybe meditation or contemplation. That's sort of what I'm feeling. But let's see what the cards have to say about it. What energies do we have today? And for the weekend, anything we need to know. <laughs> Again, adjustments are required. Remember, this has been showing up a lot lately. Believe in the impossible. Literally, these two are showing up all the time. All the time. And bring love into the situation. New Moon Aquarius. So, there we go. New Moon Aquarius. Uh, bringing love into the situation, what that really means is getting a broader perspective on something. Um, so in some cases, for some people, because I see believe in the impossible, something may only happen once here. Um, this is about showing up correctly. And sometimes we don't, if we don't see ourselves in the context of the situations we're dealing with, we could um, maybe not respond or behave in a way that is for our greatest good or for the good of the, the best for everybody. So bring love into the situation I think is really saying consider the needs of others, bring love into the situation. Not the needs of others, the um, the energy is really like just consider the humanity of it all. Okay, that's the broader perspective. Imagine like how astronauts felt when they went to space for the first time. We can't fathom what that must have been like or felt like, but we have seen media about it, right? Pictures, I was gonna say audiographs, sound bites, motion clips. Why am I referring to media in like these old timey ways? That is so bizarre. <clears throat> in any case, yeah, I have a sense for maybe what this, what this could be like today, but let's see what, what comes out. What else is here? Mm. bring love into the situation. This, I think, is asking all of us to get into that love resonance, that love frequency. Adjustments are required. Um, as in, if you're so close to something, but sometimes we have the little piece in the back of our mind, the nagging piece that you can't seem to shoo away. We're really meant to sort of put both feet in here. Believe in the impossible. Something that will happen will only happen once. Or rarely. Or may only happen once. Interesting. Uh, so for some of you, there might be an opportunity coming, coming about. And if you don't see the opportunity as the blessing that it is, or something that you're worthy of, or something that um, you're meant to do, then it... it it may not happen again. So in that sense, it's bring love into the situation, bring love for yourself. Believe that you are, um, that you're on some, some path and you have your own 
you know, guidance in your own destiny. And with that, yeah, so five of wands underneath, conflict. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let's just let, let's put it out how it is and, and see what happens. I don't normally read these in the reverse, but that just happens to be what's happening today. They're all in reverse. Maybe I'm just holding it upside down. Nine of Pentacles, Death, Ten of Wands, I mean Ten of Swords, Judgment, Two of Pentacles in the middle. That's been showing up too, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, Crescent Moon, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Page of Wands. <laughs> they all came out upside down. Uh, maybe somebody, some of you are feeling that this is um, an upside down knee kind of time. Things are working backwards. Uh, maybe that's the conflict, something... Um, hmm. Seemingly backwards. Okay, I'll read them again for you. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Death. Ten of Swords, Judgment, Two of Pentacles, The Crescent Moon, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Page of Wands. So here's what I'm getting. The adjustment that is required that's showing up is something regarding your own um, success. What is success to you? If we set the direction of the course of our lives around our ideas of success, that's a lot of power we're giving to <clears throat> just one idea. I mean, there might be many ideas as to how to pursue that, right? Many uh, prongs, if you will. At the same time, though, not not every opportunity is as fulfilling as the next and so there is that's what i'm seeing is that there's a level of discernment occurring that is where things are may, may be changing rapidly and you may be getting new ideas as to what you want to be doing with your life that could seem the opposite of what you had been doing before or it could be as simple for some of you you're ready to take on less things and be more intentional about setting the direction instead of a sort of a dandelion model where it's you're in the middle and you've got all of these opportunities around you and giving a little bit to each one i'm getting more of the sense that now it's sort of you're you're um that's a 360 lens right um how am i trying to say this narrowing the scope narrowing the scope and now we have a direction we're not like spilling out like a bleed <clears throat> it's now more directed so there could be more movement versus stagnation this is sort of like research right 360 is research looking at what's around us um, looking at where we are our environment it's to the totality of it all like a flame, you know, it lights in a circle. But we want to, we're, we're on this river right now, the river of, you know, moving on. This is change moving into a different direction. Different or a direction. It doesn't have to be different. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. It maybe it's just more, more focused. So in that sense, what I'm seeing here then in the near future is that the work that is required is this need to build yourself up to the point of being confident in the decision that you've made, <clears throat> the decision that you've made to move in a certain direction. There's going to be things that creep in. The Ten of Swords here is, is highly indicative of like uh, our, our cognitive and mental thought patterns, um, thought loops. It is a ten though, so it's just telling me that we're trying to put that behind us, this negative way of thinking. I think you know that in order to align yourself with more abundance, you have to stop 
talking to yourself negatively like or allowing your thoughts to I want to say allowing just resonating not even resonating aligning yourself too much with your thoughts we are not our thoughts the, the, the I think the transformation that's occurring here possibly on a more conscious level is I'm having thoughts these thoughts are cluing me into my fears of my own ideas of success or who I'm supposed to be or how I'm supposed to be um, the, the level of let's say productivity or what my job title has been up until now um, negative thoughts can creep in and and actually stop us from feeling or sensing the kind of gratitude that is required to leave the door open for positive and abundant opportunities so that's the transformation I, I know that is that someone someone here is definitely battling some sort of negative cognitive pattern someone is understanding how your thoughts are linking to reality how you think about your own ability your own potential will have an effect on the outcome of what it is whatever it is you decide to pursue and so what I'm really getting here and again this does sort of resonate for me what I was saying at the beginning of this reading this is a time to understand how everything that has happened to you or is happening to you or is currently showing up in your life how is this really impacting you really getting a good sense for what does this mean for me and I do think that it is a good time to take some extra space and I love the crescent moon you guys know I love a crescent moon this is you know a little self-care moon build yourself up moon maybe that's why the five of wands here is the energy underneath there's something there's some sort of um, conflict and or maybe there's things happening this in your life this weekend that really want to um, push and pull you in different directions um, when what is required is to actually just sort of sit in your own shit and I, don't, I didn't mean shit I just mean just um, this is about really understanding who you are and what you want to be doing and setting the direction for the course of the next month, the next year, whatever it is. Um, energetically, I, I sense this, that there is um, next month a continuance of unraveling these ideas of you know who we want to be who we're turning into what what opportunities do I really want to manifest or take advantage of in my life and I do think that it will challenge existing perceptions of, of who we think we are and what we want to do that will never stop happening just because retrograde doesn't you know there's no Venus retrograde or something but you know but what will be happening is a lot more movement a lot things will be happening a lot more quickly so again that's why I think I'm saying my advice to you is really sit and try to feel all that has changed in the last month two months three months six months and internalize it and choose some things to get really excited about Choose some things to get to get really excited about and see how you can make a roadmap to um, a roadmap to, to achieving some of those goals this year. And again, blue moon is here, right? Believe in the impossible. Something that something might happen that is only once in a blue moon. 
So maybe there very well may be a situation or an opportunity that comes up for some of you that is unexpected and delightful. So I think you have to believe that it's possible for good things to happen to you, for them to happen to you. I hope this helps, and I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.